Oh, so thirsty. What can I have? With soft drink? No, I don't want any coke today. Oh, maybe a milkshake? No, that's too dairy. What the hell? Hitch, what were you doing in the fridge? Well, I guess that's your new home then. Ugh, I'm so thirsty! I need something to drink. Sunny? Sunny, my brand new smoothies only contain all new fruits. Oh, thanks, Celestia. Oh, Sunny, I need one of your smoothies right now. I've been craving one for such a long time. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll conjure that up. Oh, thank you, Sunny. Thank you. What? What is this? This is not a smoothie. I'm sure you're about to tell me. Thank you very much. I depended on you. What? The bubble era? Ugh. Well, I'll take it! It's me, Fong Noir Boy and Cortez Cult, and welcome back to the Tell Your Tale episode reactions. Today, we are going to be getting into episode 47, Sunny Smoothie Moves by Alex Collier. And coincidentally enough, you might have noticed this new piece of merch, Sunny Smoothie Wagon. Oh, I'm so glad that I got this new piece of merch. And at this point, my whole reaction table just looks like a miniature maritime bay. This is a replica of Sunny Smoothie Wagon, and my, my, it looks really adorable. And it just feels so smooth, too. If you look at the logo up here, you can actually take it off and Look at that, it glows. Because when you pop it down and you activate this little switch here, the front door opens up. There, look at that. And it's revealed a little sunny inside. Now Sunny Smoothie Wagon is open for business. But for now, we're gonna be closing because we are gonna be reacting to the new episode today. I really need to stop doing these purchases. I'm gonna run out of money. So how about we get this episode rolling? You know what, little mousey? I'm going to give you a smack with Sunny Smoothie Wagon logo because why the hell not? And plus, it'll probably get a power up since it's lighting up. Let's go! Oh, she's running away. What? What's going on? Oh my god, giant fruit cosplays. Oh, they're very angry with her. They want no more killing. Oh, is this an advert? Oh, I want to take a drink. Oh. Oh, wow, the community garden's actually getting some recognition. Razzleberries. Oh, they look delectable. Aesthetic as hell. Your big bananas, not to. <laughs> My bananas! All added with the magic of filters. Of filters, of course. Of, Pip would be specialized in that specter. I know I will. I think not. Oh, really, Posey? You just have to ruin the moment. I, I missed her. Banana smoothie here. Oh, come on, guys. Appreciate some diversity. I, I would love a hybrid. Sometimes trying something new is hard. Yeah, that is a good lesson. Trying something new is hard, but once you get used to it, you will love it. Taste test. Oh, give me, let me in on that action. I want to try the Razzleberry smoothie. Three million? Wait, why is Missy there? Is she trying to awkwardly fit in? <laughs> Oh, what is that? I, I bet Izzy made that. Oh, that's a pretty slick invention. Uh, let me try the Razzleberry along with some mango and pomegranates. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why Misty is there. Maybe she's trying to secretly malfunction the machine so it'll go crazy. Dreamy, what, what kind of like combinations are those? Yes, Rocky, you're finally looking good and no more farts, I hope. Strawberry ripple? Strawberry ripple. Ah, that's a classic flavor. It's risky to try anything else. How so? Come on, Hitch. You're all about the openness. It's going to go out of control. Watch it. Look what you've done now, guys. Oh, God. It's, it's gone sentient. Whoa! It's a paint splatter. It reminds me of that holiday. What's it called? Molly or something? Oh, Missy, what are you going to do? You, you'll just let it happen. 
<laughs> Sparky's enjoying that piggyback ride. Uh, everything is sticky. Even the poor Bun Buns are not enjoying it. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, oh look at Queen Haven's main cut. Oh, that will be such a disaster if we get it ruined. No, don't let it ruin her main style. Oh, direct shot zip. Eat, everyone. Eat it. Ah, uh, then, then they'll get their new flavors. Ah, uh, now you're falling into the trap. It's the only way to stop the town getting Wait, this, this, this music sounds recognizable and familiar. Like something from a game. Ha, ah, Posey, you're not gonna like it. More Posey abuse! Oh, come on, let it ruin her sheets. Oh, dear, it's, it's Rufus. Oh, no, the critters! And even Sparky, eat it. Oh, they should have let Sparky eat it. Yes, they did it. They defeated the machine. Woo! Oh, please don't show him inflated. Oh, thank God it isn't. Oh, I love you, Sparky. Well done, Sabani. You technically did something right. Oh, what can we call it? The Alicorn. Oh, so that's what they said in Alicorn. I'll have the Alicorn special. Now she knows now where to find it. Oh my god, thank you so much, episode. Yeah, they're too addicted to the one smoothie that they'll know they'll like. Oh, wow. A major upgrade from the last episode. Thank you, Alex. Uh, well done. Sunny smoothie moves. Thank you so much, Alex, for giving me a breath of fresh air in this new era and with this episode. You have impressed me, apart from all of your usual, like, below average scripts. This one is probably your best one. Like, well done. You, you did, you, you impressed me. This episode had a combination of nearly everything that makes Tell Your Tales so successful. The implementation of background characters, including Misty, into the main five. Like, what was that all about? Maybe this episode was aired a little too early? The main five being actually likeable and rootable characters, the setting, the visuals, the story, oh... Like, this episode has got to be one of my new favourites. I liked this concept of everyone just not really being opening up and accepting new smoothie flavours and just not really trying anything new because it is a lesson that many of us in the world can go through because, you know, not everyone likes change and they would just rather stick to the old stuff because it's the stuff that makes them happy and they fear that maybe trying something new would make them go off track or just make them feel misguided. It wouldn't make them feel good after all, so they just stick with the one thing Thing that they know and love because it's, it's the only thing that makes them interesting. So when the main five, including Misty, just overpower the smoothie making machine, it goes out of control and it starts invading the bay. Like, that was a really hilarious moment and I love that. Knowing how last episode turned out, especially with the ending, I am especially glad that Sparky was given a good spotlight in this episode and there wasn't a single fart joke. Like, well done, Alex. At least I can appreciate you for that. The way the smoothie machine just invaded Maritime Bay and how it just went so awry with not really giving a fuck and just spraying all kind of flavors around the town. Uh, that was a really funny moment too. And the way the main five just leapt into the air and like eat them all in like one shot because they are unknowingly getting the flavors combined and they're just willingly and or obliviously making new flavors in their mouths anyway. So they're willingly going along with it despite not really wanting to at first. This episode gave Sunny Star Scout the character development that she so desperately needed because recently it's all been about the other characters and not really her getting that much of runtime or screen time. So I am very glad that this episode hammered the nail on the head for Sunny's character and my, my, she did a really good job, didn't she? I liked how the fine continuity from Make Your Mark is slowly making its way into Tell Your Tale because with the implementation of the community garden and the many mixtures of different fruits that are being made from it, that was made a potent plot point in um, Alicond, I think. Because I remember when Wendy said that she wanted the Alicorn special smoothie, well, that's finally been made in this episode and my God, the, the payoff is marvelous. And finally, with the ending 
of Sunny's smoothie moves with everyone just running towards the wagon to try out that Alicorn special smoothie. It was pretty humorous how nobody wanted anything else because they were so addicted to the new flavor. Oh, what an irony that message delivered because, you know, nobody was wanting to try anything new at the start, but now at the end, Everyone is so wanting that new flavor because they don't want to try anything else. I can definitively say that this episode is undoubtedly getting a yay rating. Like, come on guys, this is not an average episode or even a nay or even a rusty nay. It's not really that high enough to make it a golden yay because I do wish there was some more thought going on with Misty. But still a very enjoyable episode for the most part. And you will find out where I rank it right now with my five Tell Your Tale episode rank here. It's definitely going into the yay section and if it's anywhere else just please sue me but I hope you all can agree with me with where I place it because this episode is really is, is just really a good one. Sunny smoothie moves? Congratulations Alex. You redeemed yourself. So, Flopbots, don't forget to like and hoof tap this video and comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of Sunny's smoothie moves and subscribe to my channel for more reactions and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And before you go, make sure you check out this trailer to my upcoming season review of Make Your Mark Chapter 2. Coming this March. Magic is now more powerful than it's ever been. My most anticipated video of the year. I haven't been a very good older sister, huh? I don't need to be an alicorn for ponies to like me. With three months in the making. You just don't understand what it's like to be me. And you never will! Unicorn for Two hours of runtime. This is an active crime scene. For some pony made a fire and never met a heart so cold. <laughs> the yay or nay make your mark for chapter two season review. Coming this March. And before the video ends, I would like to shout out my Silver Fluffbutt patrons, Comet Speed, Louise Wade, and Alex Smith, and my Gold Fluffbutt patron, the Pate and Growerful Trisky. Thank you so much for your love and support.